Thank you. That's what I'm feeling. All right, so we have the conclusion into this. So it started off talking about how um, many people are deeming black fathers are being like absent from their families due to irresponsibility or laziness or other things like that, when re in reality, many young black men are just being um, are incarcerated due to their, their faulty criminal justice system, which is called the institution. Uh, so mass incarceration has also become normalized by our society. We're used to having a lot of people in prison, and um, this creates a new racial caste system, which is very uh, similar to slavery. Uh, and like for those of you who saw uh, the documentary 13th, mm -hmm. it, it was what they were talking about, about using um, people who were incarcerated to do tasks for free because they were incarcerated. And in many different ways, and many different people famous, like Obama gave a speech about black fathers showing up in, in their children's lives, and Tyra Banks did a whole segment about where have all the black men gone, but really all the black men have gone to prison. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. Yep, okay. Like we laugh when it's um, and that's just because of like the points that the other groups have talked about with like the war on drugs mm -hmm. um, and it not actually being effective at preventing any crime. Um, that has largely been shown that it hasn't really worked in preventing it, mm -hmm. but what it does do is arrest people for minor drug offenses mm -hmm. and send a lot of black people to prison, and in particular black men. And one thing that's really important to note is what perpetuates this cycle is people not talking about race and not bringing light to the issue that is unfair incarceration. Yeah. And one statistic that really stood out to us is that a black child today is less likely to be raised by both parents than a child during slavery. Yeah, yeah that's astounding. Did you hear that? Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. So basically the summary is that mass incarceration unfairly targets black men and the normalizing of the cycle. It perpetuates a cycle that can only be really stopped if we talk about it, but many people are too uncomfortable to talk about race, in particular like white people, because they don't want like the uh, They're not affected by it. Yeah, and there was an Obama white people are afraid to take any of the blame. Like they're fine talking about it until you actually start saying like that white people are being helped by it and then they immediately start shutting down and pushing back against that. They're afraid to say that they're being helped by the system. The takeaway from this is that many of us, um, many of us staying in this classroom are privileged and you should not be afraid to talk about your privilege, not be afraid to talk about your race, as long as you're not like, I don't know, being racist, mm -hmm. then it's fine to talk about race and to recognize this privilege and to recognize that you have privilege. Yeah. We all, technically, since we all live here, we are in a, a more privileged state than most people. Mm -hmm. So it's good to recognize that. That should be the takeaway. Thank you so much. Yeah. Questions? Yes. Yeah. Questions? Oh, yeah. Nice.